Okay, so simple, but it's just... She had blue skin, and so did he. He kept it hid, and so did she. They searched for blue their whole life through, mm. then passed right by and never knew. Ah! Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, like... Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me and my good friend Pixie are about to go to a festival called Beloved. She's in the shower right now, but... Yeah, I'm very excited. I've only been to like two festivals before Oregon Country Fair like years ago, so I'm really excited to have this new experience and I will take you along with me, so enjoy! <laughs> and uh, I had never been to a festival, like I never really went out very much, like I said I was like in this cage and like it was like this festival in Costa Rica all about like transformation, spirituality, connection, tribe, love, like wisdom and I was like this, 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 so um, I kind of like played around with the idea in my mind for a few months because it wasn't for a few months and like I didn't have really like friends you know to go with so if I was going to do it I knew I was going to be doing it alone. Yeah. So I bought my ticket, mm -hmm. I um, ended up leaving, I went to Costa Rica like by myself, went to this festival and then um, literally had the best experience of my life, like the best night of my life was like that last night and it was just the most perfect night ever. Literally before, I saw the world so black and white. Like I saw things as they were, like a tree was a tree, a car was a car, a person was a person. And then my third eye cracked open and I saw that every single object in the universe has layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of depth. That it runs so deep, my mind became exfoliated. I saw the beauty and like the simplest things where everything before looked so like dreary and hopeless and random. I saw divine order, art, like creation, and I was just mind blown. When I previously like felt so disconnected from people, that night I was like making eye contact, like seeing people seeing me and like seeing myself and everybody, like literally like just being on the dance floor, looking to my right, making eye contact with somebody and just like embracing and a hug. Like I would never, I used to be the person who was like, wouldn't really like touch people, was like, like I wouldn't like hug people, I was like shy, like, and this festival I was like giving everybody massages, everybody was massaging me, I was doing like group hugs, I was like dancing with all these amazing people, I was like having these deep conversations about my life with people I just met who like really received me and like offered amazing advice. It was just like literally fucking mind blowing and I went from having severe depression for like my whole life to literally since that experience never been depressed again. We got here, the parking mm -hmm. lot was full, so they took us to the back lot, which happens to be next to this amazing river. Like what? <laughs> the most beautiful river on earth, maybe? <laughs> Perhaps, maybe, definitely. <laughs> Every single thing on the spectrum, we are here, and we are each other's reflection. <laughs> 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 What a life. Song on.
So we just arrived in the teepee tent. It is <laughs> a tent, but it's a teepee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got that energy flow upwards. <laughs> yeah, we made it up the hill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we still have to ride it back down though. Yes, that's the fun part. Um, I took a poop. So, <laughs> everything's good. <laughs> We're deep in the forest. Yeah. Like, the party is about to start, even though the party has already started. Yeah. It's about to start even more. So, yeah. Aw, <laughs> so cute. Blushing sparkles. Aww. <laughs> Love are on our way. Spirits on our side. Spirits on our side. Love are on our way. day two. I actually have no idea what time it is. It is 1219. 1219. <laughs> Which isn't that bad. I mean it's been raining all morning yeah. and we went to bed really late so. We were like we were like one of the few people still awake. We were like <laughs> the latest out of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of weird considering we woke up so early yesterday. Yeah. At like seven. Wow fueled by the good vibes. <laughs> yeah, we just danced and had a good time. And now super looking forward to ecstatic dance at 1 p.m. <laughs> we both slept on this like tiny, tiny... Is, this is like a twin yeah. sized. I feel like it might be smaller than a twin. <laughs> it's like a single. I think it's a twin. <laughs> I think if it was a single, like, there's no way we could have cuddled on that. Last night I had this amazing Tom Ka soup. <laughs> it was the best Tom Ka soup I've ever had. And it had, like, rice on the bottom of the bowl. Fried rice. Which kind of sounds weird. But it was, like, so good. It was so good. Oh my god. The food here is amazing. Yes. Opening up an avocado with my finger now. No, I think... <laughs> this is how it's done when you got no silverware. <laughs> Just make a nice little dent around the perimeter. And uh, once you get a full circle and the green is oozing out, you just spread it open. Mm. Oh my god, I have this glitter, glitter on my forehead this whole time. <laughs> That's a sign. <laughs> the alignment though. I'm awakening you guys. It's, <laughs> it's happening. Oh yeah, I want to tell the camera something I said last night was like I've been having this crazy like realization when I'm here everyone is like they're so just themselves like loving open just like very in tune with themselves and like just vibing and I feel like I haven't really reached that point yet, but I thought I had. Like, <laughs> back at home, I totally thought I like, had it all figured out, but now I'm like <laughs> learning so much about myself. And then it hit me that like when I'm at home, you know, 
um, just doing everyday stuff that I have felt like I was like more of myself, feeling like I I express myself better than other people, or like not better, but I express myself more of like my true self than others. But then when I'm here, it's like it's completely opposite because everyone I feel like expresses themselves to the fullest like way more than me. Everything is turned around and I realize that I'm actually not really expressing my true full self wherever I go and that I've been like holding back a lot like dancing, talking, like expressing, like holding back. You know, I see a person, I want to compliment them, I want to hug them, but I don't. I want to dance for you, but I don't. And it hurts. It hurts emotionally, but I've been like having so much tension in my body, like all over my back is like so, like achy, achy, like achier than I've ever felt before. Like, like uh -oh. I'm holding a lot of tension inside of me. And now the bar has been set higher. You're able to see. Take myself to the next level. Exactly. <laughs> see what's possible. Now the limits have been pushed farther mm -hmm. by seeing others who continuously push the limits. Like people who believe that life is limitless mm -hmm. and being around that kind of energy right is just so inspiring it is. and the momentum that's going to build up here from being around that kind of just pure free inspiring energy is going to be like so profound and then yeah it's just it already up, is like and it's just oh. up to you to keep the momentum going and mm -hmm. going and going and going so then you can like just launch yeah okay well enjoy our day here is pixies here's pixies ootd oh my god fair outfit of the day mm -hmm. yeah we got <laughs> with the carabiner and oh yeah water, water stay hydrated water is important water is life this is my OOTD. Um, we got all pink, you know, that <laughs> flow. Um, you know, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I just ran so many times on accident. <laughs> um, yeah, we got the wind everywhere. We got the fanny pack, which, yeah, we are ready to take off the table. Lovely, darling. <laughs> <laughs> static dance floor and then I went to grab a sip of water and Mia was just like oh. in it and I was like were you happened? watching me <laughs> when I walked back over I could just tell like something yeah like crazy happened so she still hasn't yeah. told me yet no we're waiting to get it I wanted the to the first like, version of the story I wanted to document it so we just went to a, a, a static dancing um, which is for those of you who don't know it's Basically, basically, even though it's beyond this, but mm -hmm. it's a release, like freedom of movement, like You're dancing. Yeah, you dance. It's like you, like you know the. There's music. Like yeah. dance, like nobody's watching, but mm -hmm. actually you dance like everybody's watching. It's everybody's looking at you and smiling and like connecting and just. And like, there's no talking. Yeah, it's, just... it's all body language. Yeah. So 
you express your energy through your movements and then like maybe you'll make eye contact with somebody who smiles at you and you connect with them and then you'll dance over to them and then like flow with them and yeah just it's like contemporary freestyle dancing mm -hmm. with like really just like high vibing music with like bassy like mm. where you can like get it but yeah. then the uh, content of the music is usually something like spiritual and just mm -hmm. beautiful yeah perfect so I've never done this before I've danced before totally but I've never like I'm I'm I've still always been like you know a, kind of shy yeah dancing I feel like most people are when they first start dancing you're like this resisting. is your body and you're like very aware of everything yeah, and like self-conscious self of your movements like maybe like you keep your hands to your side because you're self-conscious of when you raise them yeah things like that so I've always kind of been yeah a little bit scared to dance but when I was going to this I was like okay I'm gonna try my best to like let go also let me just say like nothing that happened I can really say like I'll try my best but Beyond I really, words. I really cannot explain how it started. Everyone was just, you know, a bunch of people were all dancing together, dancing around a little bit with myself, just like kind of feeling it out. Um, but I was still like really self conscious, you know, <laughs> like very, very ultra aware of what I was doing. And like, that's so normal though. I wasn't hard on myself for it. What do you still think dancing, that still? you were scared of? Scared of judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but also scared to be myself because myself is so powerful. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> it it's is. like allowing yourself to feel. Uh huh. But allowing yourself to feel is oh, like a I love huge that, commitment. that you recognize that. Like, because that is scary. Like, really feeling. Accepting and allowing your full powers to yeah. course through your body and then having the control and like the awareness to like uh, contain it and mm -hmm. not to like just like yeah lose control yeah the first time I like really kind of stepped out of my comfort zone is did you see when I was dancing with that guy yeah so there's like this guy I don't even know how but I like approached him and like started dancing with him but and then we were like mirroring each other yeah like we were just like mirroring <laughs> everything we did and, and it was so beautiful and like that gave me so much like after I did that it gave me so much like courage but I still wasn't I was still like breaking out it wasn't fully free yet mm -hmm. Because I realized what I kept being drawn to do is like to feel like chi energy. Yeah. Like when you go like this, I just felt so much tenseness in the air, like a good tense. Yeah. So more like just like really a thick, presence. Like thick air. Yeah. Like everyone around is moving through this like dough. Yeah. I'm just like feeling it all and it's like it's kind of the observer in me wanting to instead of like dance in it, like feel it. Yeah. But I kept getting drawn to like, even though the dancing around really fast and moving, like high, like high energy was like really fun. I was, my soul was just drawn to like just going like this, yeah, like completely still, I like totally been there. feeling everything. Uh -huh. So then I just started doing that. But then I like closed my eyes, and this is what made the huge difference. Yeah. Is like I closed my eyes. And then all of a sudden it was like no one was there, yeah. even though everyone was there. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, everyone's like physical appearance, everyone's egos are gone. Yeah. And I closed my eyes mm -hmm. and it's just the energy. Yeah. So like it's not like I was alone, I felt everyone there, yeah. but it was like if I couldn't see them then I could only feel them. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was like very, like very intense. Like all of a sudden I'm like, and then I really started to feel the energy of like, everyone's doing them and no one is judging you. Mm -hmm. you know? And if they are like, whatever, like mm -hmm. no, but in this space I really They're felt the no point. one, no one was like judging, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is when I like, Literally <laughs> cool. And let what me just say to the camera, I'm not on any drugs. I have not done any drugs. I've been sober forever. Yeah, ecstatic dance. Um, you're supposed to go completely sober, yeah. so that way all the energy is purely you, and yeah, uh, everybody's just rating pure energy. I have not done any drugs this whole time. I don't plan on it. I hate. 
like, I just want to make that clear because what I'm about to yeah. say will sound like yeah. I was on like LSD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically, I'm like closing my eyes and I'm like seeing, I don't even like, I can't explain, but lots of like, it started with this like yellow orange color, you know, just like kind of when you close your eyes and look up, it's like this orange color. And, but then when I'm like moving and feeling everyone's vibrations, it's like kind of flashing. Do you remember where it was in your vision? Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, like it was, your whole entire vision was this color? Or yeah. was it like spotty? All of it was that color, but there were like spots of white. Uh -huh. Like flashes. Yeah. And it was flashing. And, and then this is when I started to get really like out of my body almost. Kind of like the only thing keeping me grounded was my hair because it kept like going in my face. <laughs> but other than that, like I felt like I was just evaporated into like a mist of people. And at this point, this is when I like let go of everything. I was like automatically, it felt like all of my kind of like when you're drunk or high when you don't care at all. Like you're just gonna do what makes you feel good and you don't care about being judged and you just like fucking do it. That's like the feeling I had. Same, dude. But it got, again, words can't describe, it got so, oh, intense. And the colors were going with the music and then all of a sudden, I would like look down and it, would, it was a rainbow. I like kid you not, the most vivid, this is not my imagination, this is me literally seeing it in my eyelids. Like I look down and it's like this ultraviolet blue, like purple. And there's, and it's like fizzy. Like it's like, there, it was like stars almost. And I, and this is when the music was getting really, really, really low and like the, and then the bass was like building and building and it was like, I felt like I was just dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and, dropping and, dropping and, dropping and, dropping and like going really low and lower and getting lower. This is a sweet little... And then when the bass dropped, I went all the way up and it was flashing like strobe lights, rainbow. And it was literally like my eyes were twitching, my whole body was like shaking, like like vibrating. Like, I, like the reason why I ended up stopping a few minutes later is because I was afraid I might pass out. <laughs> literally. And it, this is like so fucking crazy, but I was just like going around and around and like spinning, and my eyes are completely closed. I'm not touching anybody, and like. Oh my god, it was the most intense, like, I know, I look all the way up, it was all like that white, like white light, light. You have one the and I'm just, like, feeling such a connection to, like, everything and everyone, and I'm, like, going like this and feeling everybody around me, and then all of a sudden, like, I'm so in a different, like, like, astral plane, and... All of a sudden, I hear everyone cheering. Like, <laughs> after I have this trench, like, I'm yeah. cheering. Yeah. I don't know why everyone's cheering. But everyone's cheering, and all of a sudden, I have this, like, whoa, is everyone, like, surrounding me? Like, I, I didn't open my eyes, but I had this vision of everyone in the place in a circle around me, and I'm in the middle, and they're all experiencing this, like, freedom and like yeah, me like having this awakening and they're all like clapping because they realize like when I looked up at the white light they were all like she did it you know but then like my more realistic mind was like that's probably not what just happened but then I was like wait that is what happened but it was everyone's energy like they're like subconscious it is like the it universe is. made that at the perfect uh -huh. moment oh my god <laughs> Divine order is yeah. a real thing. Like right when that happened, like everyone, and I'm like, they're not cheering for me, but they are. Yeah. It's like, because they are me. <laughs> I swear, guys, I'm not on any drugs. Like, I swear, it was so crazy. And then I just started crying, and I felt like just lift me on the ground, like yeah, yeah, yeah. falling right there. But I don't want to like hurt anyone. <laughs> so I'm just like. 
seeing all these like twitching lights and then I open my eyes and I'm literally just like shaking like this, like shaking. And I'm like, I need to go lay down. So then I like walked out of the crowd and just like laid on the floor and started crying, but like with a smile on my face yeah. so no one thought I was like yeah. sad, you know? <laughs> and just smiling felt good. And then I like, and I'm like, I want to just record this moment of me crying and staring at the sky, you know, so I remember it. I pull out my phone and it's recording. Whoa. It's been recording like the whole like 15 minutes. Whoa. And then I started crying because like even though it was like in my pocket or wherever it was. You have the music. Like that was the, I captured the moment like that I totally like it was the most free in my whole life so far. <laughs> like being sober, I can reach this state of... Hi! Is a vlog happening? Yeah, come yeah. in! Oh, yeah. Come here, come Guys, we need our... This is like... Trajectory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're like wandering through a masterpiece right now. Like, we are the masterpiece. We are. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's put my clothes on over here. Moments reveling in it. It's the new moon tonight. Yes, 
The new moon is all about new beginnings and setting intentions for the month, the next month. So what is your intention for this new moon? And just be able to continue to embody my own essence and just like spray it, like mist it all over the festival mm -hmm. and just like live out my highest self and just yes. bring the good vibes and love all everybody like just be that loving awareness and like any way that I can heal or like maybe like I see somebody who is feeling left out like just keep like being mindful of everybody around me and bringing that magic and including everybody and kind of trying to like bring them into the present moment with mm -hmm. me so be here now and like have the best time of their lives awesome like. <laughs> yes so my intention is to flow and continue to embody love mm -hmm. and to enjoy the moment to juice to, to get the juice of yes. life and be grateful for every breath for every step i have to live in this human experience yes we live in a beautiful world uh-huh and trusting in the flow opens the doors yes to that magnificence mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I've really found a power in conscious sisterhood here mm -hmm. um, that is oftentimes overlooked or neglected outside of this space. Yeah. I think for me, my intention is to really tune into myself um, coming to this festival alone as a oh. powerful, independent woman yeah. just doing what I want and following my intuition moment by moment mm -hmm. to what I want to do to open up the experiences yes. that are right for me. Mm -hmm. And so I think tuning into that and really owning it mm -hmm. is my intention. Yes! My intention is to unapologetically take care of myself. Mm. My intention is to cultivate patience mm. through life's transitions. Mm. Oh. Yes. <laughs> my intention is to appreciate all of my body. Mm. All that my body does for me. Yes. So for my new moon intentions, um, I've really been focusing on what my healing journey is all about. Mm. Mm -hmm. And through that healing process, I become more in tune with my truths. Mm -hmm. And that I can more deeply share, mm -hmm. deeply share uh, my gifts with you. Yes! So my intention for the accept more of me and all of me mm -hmm. for greater love mm -hmm. myself. Like, oh, the heck is that guy? I hope I yeah. am doing that the peace that I'm feeling kind of struggling with these days. Mm -hmm. It feels kind of manifested in this sciatica that is coming up a lot. Mm -hmm. and My intention for the what was it? the new moon. My intention for the new moon is to love more compassionately. Yes, I love it. <laughs> My intention for the new moon is to bring as much clarity in as possible, more good communication and relationships to build and expand. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs>
day three, the last day, the last full day. Um, it's like, it's like 1.30 p.m. Um, we went to bed at like 6 in the morning last night. I didn't even realize how late it was. It was just up all night dancing and listening to amazing music and eating great food. And really was just like opening up and like... <sighs> we met some like really cool like friends and really like released a lot of energy and like the stuff I've been holding back and had so much fun just like dancing and I have paint all over all over my my arms too kind of looks like a rash but it's not a rash <laughs> I think today just might be a chill day Nothing crazy. Um, I feel like I started the trip like this, and then I now I'm like coming down. See, so I have like intense eye bags. It's so hot today too. Oh, also, I have no idea where Pixie is. Yeah, I don't know where she is. She didn't. We kind of split up last night, and um, she didn't come back to the tent, so hopefully I run into her sometime today. Probably will, but... Mmm, I feel really good and happy. <laughs> Probably seem kind of miserable, but I'm just... Ooh, tired, exhausted. <laughs> but my heart feels good. I'm really able to like freely express myself here and it's so cool to talk to like like-minded people and um, to not feel judged and to feel like in a really safe place to just like be myself where I've realized that like I hold back a lot in real life. I feel like I hold back way less than regular people but being here made me realize that. I'm still holding back. I know it is so good. You know what? Yeah, guitar. But now I'm dancing, singing, complimenting, smiling. It's good. It's real good. Well, let's go. We'll have a good day. Maybe go to bed early because I leave tomorrow at like 11, which is kind of late. But yeah, I'm hoping to, I don't know if I'm in focus, sorry if I've been out of focus, I'm hoping to like edit all this video in like one day, because I get back and then like leave right away for my Asia trip, so, can I do it? Let's see if this video goes up before the 15th, that means I did it, the 15th of August, that is, otherwise I'll have to wait until September. Um... Mm -hmm. yeah. For this, this is practice. This is practice for creating the world that we all wish to live in. So we've had this amazing experience where we come together and we, we come with this openness and we create the conditions under which we can have a wide variety of experiences that we can include all aspects of our human experience together. And soon this will be over and we'll be going out our separate ways into our lives. And the value of this experience that we've had together here is that the greeter to are able to continue this practice and bring it into our lives. So that a week from now, a month from now, or a year from now, this wasn't just this beautiful weekend that was like the sweet dream that we had, but it becomes a living part of our lives and our day-to-day -day experience. That this wasn't like, oh, I have to come to the woods with 2,000 people and amazing musicians and to have this experience, but how can I, how can we each create this moment by moment with the people who are closest to us in our lives? So we're gonna be taking some time now to reflect on what we've experienced here together. 
these experiences of opening or change or transformation that came from inside of you, from your own willingness and the choices you made here. We're going to take a little time to reflect on those, to make them more available to us to carry out as we go our various and diverse ways into the world. Allow yourself to scan throughout the past few days what actually happened here for you. What is important and valuable about what you experienced here? Was it some quality that you brought forward in yourself? Some way that you participated? Some way that you persevered? showed up? Or is it interactions that you had? Sensations in your body? Were there people that affected you? Perhaps it was the land or the music or a multitude of combinations of all of those things. But just take a moment for yourself, like what was actually there? What happened for you? What is alive in you right now as you land here? Love. And can you identify it for yourself? Let that kind of percolate there, let that seed grow. All that is, like, <laughs> there's so many layers and it goes deeper and deeper. And, like, being able to look at somebody and no longer just see them as their ego, like, their beauty, their um, persona, like, just the vibration really of together, just them to ushering see them all the way down to the earth. child. And cool. being able to, like, by seeing just, in that way, like, to be loving awareness and also the realizations of really truly being aware of the light and the darkness. This underlying love that is tying every one of us together. Mm -hmm. I look in the eyes of everyone that I see here and I'm greeted by stars and twinkles and divinity and, and smiles and joy and that to me is this reflection of that purity that is within all of us that childlike wonder, that play, that joyousness, that, that gift of being alive to, to feel that sensuality of being present with each other in a moving mass, howling, writhing, breathing, chanting, stomping, hearts beating together. <sighs> to honor each other, to honor the beloved, to see the whole world and every person and to treat them as my beloved. Walking back to my tent for the last sleep of beloved. I don't know what to say other than it has been such an amazing fulfilling experience and although I'm sad to leave I'm so excited to go back into the world feeling so much stronger and brighter than I already did when I had the first game I'm out of breath walking up this hill can you tell <laughs> Ooh, so it's the last day um it's about 10 a.m. My shuttle leaves in about an hour. And yeah, surprise, surprise, I woke up without Pixie again. <laughs> she only slept in the tent one night, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Anyway, um, we always end up just like bumping into each other, but this time I'm on a time constraint, I'm leaving. So in case I don't see her, in case I don't see her, I left her a little note and um, I'm just feeling really good, really dirty. My, oh, my fingernails. My fingernails have a, ooh, 
very, <sighs> everything's very dirty, but <sighs> my mind feels very clean and clear and cleansed. <laughs> A quick little overview, so like, <sighs> really this experience has shown me a lot of love and happiness really um, the first day I was kind of shy um, kind of timid didn't really talk to many people didn't really dance that much kind of just observing everything taking it all in very overwhelming I held back a lot um, and, and then the second day I really really just like broke free and for the first time in my life really just was completely myself, surrounded by such loving, amazing, beautiful, happy people. And then the third day, I was just chilling. Kind of just felt like I could just talk to people, I could dance, I could just say whatever I wanted, just like very free. And now, I hope to take that home with me. When it comes down to it, it's just love and happiness. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't really know how I'm going to close this video, but thank you for coming along with me on this journey. I was really just expecting to make like a five minute, like little festival video, you know, some B-roll, but turn into something else, so that's cool. <laughs>